The makers of the Fitbull F, that's quite a boast to make when you're up against the likes of Conceptual and first degree with a track record of innovation. But then again, the F row costs around a tenth of these brands. But is the addition of a gadget or two make it smart? And does a rowing machine have to be smart to get you fit? Watch on. As with all our R videos, we'll start with the unpacking and assembly. The F row comes in a few parts and requires only minimal assembly and shouldn't really challenge even the most unskilled dyer. The rowing position is okay at best. The seat is actually quite comfortable and the footrests are wide and will hold your feet secure and in place. But if you're over 5'7", then forget it. The compact machine has a short beam and you just won't be able to get a decent workout. The full motion handles mean you can row or skull. Most rowing machines have one handle and replicates rowing with one oar. Sculling is using two oars and involves a wider movement. So in effect, you can have two different types of workout using a different set of shoulder muscles. The F row uses hydraulic pistons for the resist, one on each side. Painted gold and photo provides the resistance for your muscles to pull against. There's a choice of eight levels of resistance which can be selected by sliding the end of the piston up and down the handle. If you have a weakness on one side, you could have different levels for each handle. But for a machine that claims to be smart, this is quite an old-fashioned and pretty crude way of doing things. So on to the smart part. Fitbull claim this is the rowing machine with an app on the market. As far as we're aware, this may be true, sort of. But other rowers are PC slash smartphone compatible and offer far more in respect to tracking your training progress, and some even allow you to compete against other rowers around the world. However, Fitbull's app is pretty good when you consider the price C display unit below for more details. You may wonder why we've only scored 45% for features when it comes with a motion sensor, iPhone holder, and app. But the limitations of the actual rowing machine beneath the tech really does limit the use of these features. The motion sensor does nothing more than a standard console and monitor. In fact, compared to many, it's actually less because it cannot know how much work you're doing, watts, and how many calories you're burning. The six-month warranty on the frame and parts is around about what you'd expect for a low-cost rowing machine. Display unit. This doesn't come with a display as such because on this machine it's your smartphone. See the photo below right. The app displays the usual data such as distance, time, and stroke rate. One plus is that it stores this information and will show your progress over time. This is always good for motivation if you can see the improvement in your stats and also hopefully on the scales. Overview. The F row can be summed up as an old-fashioned, generic, low-cost rowing machine fitted with some high-tech gadgets. This does allow for a few more features to be offered on a model costing under $200. But to be honest, it looks more like a gimmick. Using a motion sensor is clever, but does it really do more than a standard half-decent performance monitor? Probably not in our view, but perhaps further down the line we'll see Fitbull installing their technology on better machines. But for now, this doesn't cut it for us. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe this channel and leave your comment in the comment section below. What do you think about this particular model?